Hello and welcome to the Festival of Media LATAM 2015 in Miami. It's the second morning and we've just had a fantastic talk from Alexander Jukkowitz, the CEO of Truffle Pig, which is one of the big subjects of the year so far. Launched in Cannes, uh, a joint venture between WPP, Daily Mail and Snapchat. And a lot of people were interested to hear what you had to say and they weren't disappointed. How did you find the experience? Oh, it was a phenomenal experience. I mean, whenever I could come and talk about the way that we see the world, it was a very receptive audience, particularly for Latin America, where I think that aspects of content and content marketing are fresh and new yeah. um, and more nascent than in perhaps the United States and in Europe. It's a, it's a very dynamic opportunity. To, it was a very, it's a very dynamic opportunity to talk about what we're seeing out there. Yeah, and not to badmouth anybody that, you know, that, that, that else has been speaking, but sometimes content can be talked about in, in quite generic terms, bland terms, but you, you, you kind of use the tofu analogy is like actually not all content is good. I started as a I started with a bland reference. I referred to I don't think the word content means anything, so I always equate it to tofu. It's what you <laughs> add to it. And ultimately as marketers, we're all trying to add our perspectives, our flavors, our delights, if you will. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why a lot of people were really keen to see your session is you, you, you alluded to Gen Z and who are these 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 kind of kids that are coming through that are the gluttons for content but very picky about which content they are they're willing to consume and and I guess the job of it for you guys is to get to know who these people are. Well, I'm trying to get to know them. It gets <laughs> harder and harder the older you get, but the reality is creating content and targeting any demographic is both about what you know and what you believe and yeah. also an understanding. It is a partnership. If it's all things to just the audience you're trying to reach, then that's that's not going to get it done, nor can it be so self-serving that it's all about a particular brand or a particular organization. We, we as content sort of creators and content consumers, we have to have a partnership. And that partnership is that we will raise content to the highest possible level, and that's where we will meet. Yeah, I, I think one of the things I loved that you said was talking about ad blocking, which, you know, there's been talk about fighting ad blockers in the courts, fighting them technologically. You were like, hey, it's an opportunity. We can do some partnerships. This is curation. It's a completely different viewpoint. I suppose, why, why, do, you, why do you come to that, that, that view? If the industry doesn't disrupt from within itself, it will be disrupted against. So I would much rather be in that camp. Ad blockers are just another manifestation of quality control. And it just continues to raise the bar for marketers to create things that you actually want to see and consume. Mm -hmm. It's another vehicle for that. I mean, ad blocker is not different than a remote than when God created the remote control and allowed us to turn the channel. Yeah, I, we really appreciate having you here. Um, are you able to stick around a little bit, see a couple of other sessions? Absolutely, it's a great event. Fantastic. Well, well, thank you very much for your time, and hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic.